Hi, it's Val and welcome to my studio. We're getting close to school and so I am making pencil pouches for the kids' notebooks and um, came up with this idea of using grommets in our little zipper pouch to then put in the notebook. So I thought I'd show you how to put a grommet in because they're really quite easy and um, they're very useful little additions to uh, bags and such. So first you're gonna have to have a zipper pouch, which I made using my pattern where you can make any pouch, any size. Did a flat bottom. And then what I did was I also, which you don't have to do, but I thought it would look good. Um, I stitched a line all across here to separate where the pencils will be and where um, the grommets will attach to the binder in hopes of like less wear and tear, but we'll see. By the end of the year, we'll report back. So we have these little grommets right here, which are in two parts. This part, the washer here, and then the part that goes on the top of it. And what happens when you pound it is this part seals over the top of it and it's one piece with your fabric parts in between sandwiched in there. You need this little tool to make it all happen um, as this part, but you only need to buy this once, which is great. And then you just buy a bunch more grommets. So you put that in there and then your fabric on and this on and you pound it. And to pound it, you need your rubber mallet. It'll work fine with a metal mallet, honestly, but I'd put fabric over it because it's super loud. Whereas like when you do something like this, it absorbs and anyways, isn't this loud and obnoxious. Um, okay, and then you're gonna need a pair of scissors. Um, I took my ruler and just went in and measured about three eighths from my stitching line and I made little dots with my Sharpie so I knew where to make my hole for my grommet. Now, the reason there are two grommets in here is because I had to practice cutting through all of this and um, when you haven't done one of these in a while, you have to practice. So, we have two grommets in here, worked out really well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick, I have super sharp Kai scissors and I'm gonna stick the scissors through and I'm actually gonna snip. So you can see I snipped. I'm gonna do it four times. It's like maybe eighth of an inch-ish. And I'm gonna do it in, so there's, did I go through? Oh, I don't think I went through all of it. Well, to come back. That's why you want these super sharp scissors. So they can go through all of those layers of fabric. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, see how it starts to make a hole, but this is a lot of extra fabric that you really don't want in between the grommets. So you're gonna trim it off. I just use my fingers and get in here. Because you're going through, um, quite a bit of layers here because you're at the bottom and so you have the edges of the seam. Okay, now we have a hole, which is kind of scary. Look, finger gets in there. Now, I'm gonna take, we're gonna move it off of this. Now, again, so here's our base. And you're gonna put the guy with the lip right there and we're gonna take and we're gonna put this over the top. Try not to cut too big cause you don't wanna like, you know, cut into your, into your stitching here or make it so big that the edges fray. I'm gonna stick this on the top, put this in there like that. And then I'm gonna pound a couple times really loud. And then if you, oh, see, it didn't go all the way over on this edge. So I got, had more pounding on one side than the other. So I'm gonna stick it back on there. Oh, 
Oh, that's better. Now, our grommet's in there. And it can now, everyone can go to school with their personalized Buddha pouch. Because who doesn't need a little zen when you go to school? Now, my daughter did mention that this seemed a little narrow, which it could be. But it also could be nice for just so you don't get an excessive amount of writing utensils. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a great day. Thank you.